All right, hello. Um, I'm gonna be showing off uh, the optimal way of fighting clockwork uh, and then clockwork jump because I, I haven't done that yet in my tutorial series. So, well, not tutorial series, but I, I didn't do that in any of my videos. Um, so I would like to go over this and explain it so people can, uh, can know how to do clockwork optimally and uh, do clockwork jump should they so desire to, uh, to learn these things. So starting off in the first phase, um, after Clockwork fires on this little barrage, uh, about a half a second after that, Carmelia's going to make her shot. Uh, the first shot's going to go at his face, the second shot's going to go at his talons, uh, the third shot is going to go at his tail feathers, and then the fourth shot is going to go out after his right wing, um, in respect to like his body. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> uh, I always sit in the bottom left to dodge the shots, and then try to put my reticule uh, where Carmelita is going to be shooting at as quickly as possible, so that way I can I can already have shots on the way there before her shot hits to you know deal damage the uh, the quickest way possible. And that's that's first phase. First phase is very easy. Uh, it's, it's extremely difficult to mess up the first phase. Um, now there is a cutscene here normally. I've already beaten Clockwork on this file, so this cutscene does not play. Um, and I'm just going to pause here to, to kind of explain this. So, um, these one cycle, like these, these one hit, they were, I, I call them quick hits. Um, kind of taken after like quick kills for other boss fights and, and other games. Uh, except you're not killing him, you're just dealing damage quickly. So that's, that's why I call them quick hits. Um, Carmelita uh, will shoot... Uh, after the four rings have, have come have come down and provided you don't you know miss your opportunity to deal enough damage uh, it will always go left wing um, in like inner right wing his face and then uh, far right wing if that makes sense um, like the kind of like where the tip of his wing is well not like not where the tip of his wing is but like a little bit to the left of that um, you'll see when she shoots it uh, now. Uh, for the rings, there are four patterns uh, for the rings. Uh, it can start in the middle and go middle, left, right, middle, or middle, right, left, middle. It can start on the left uh, and go left, middle, right, middle, and, or it can start on the right and go right, middle, left, middle. Uh, and I lied, sorry, there's six patterns. And the last two, it can start on the left and go left, right, left, right, or it can start on the right and go right, left, right, left. Those are the only six patterns that can happen from the rings. Uh, and you can always tell which pattern is gonna which, which pattern you're getting by the second ring. If it starts on the left and the second ring is on the right, it will finish on the right. So it'll go left, right, left, right. If it starts on the right and the second ring is on the left, it will always go right, left, right, left. Uh, if it starts uh, on the left or the right and the second ring is in the middle, it will end in the middle. So left, r middle, right, middle. Uh, and then vice versa. And then if it starts in the middle, the first ring is in the middle, it will always end in the middle. Um, so with that out of the way, and those explanations out of the way, um, this first quick hit is extremely difficult, and you can only really get it cleanly uh, without having to go back over and shoot any more rockets if the last ring is either in the middle or the left. And for the most part, from what I've seen, um, you almost never get the last ring to end in the left. Generally, it always ends in the middle or the far right, um, which sucks, but I'm just going to play through this and finish it off, uh, and then when we get to the platforming section, I'll explain kind of my take on, uh, on Clockwork Jump. So, yeah, here we go. It doesn't matter where you kind of sit at. I always sit in the middle because it allows me to react better. Now, see, I'm getting left middle, right middle. So I can go over here, and I can get some shots in, and I can get back just in time. Uh, it, it's really hard when the third, like, whether the third ring is on the right or the fourth ring, it's very hard to fly all the way over to the left, stay long enough to get all the shots, and then come all the way back. Uh, it's extremely difficult, and generally you have a charm, so it's, it's, it's worth risking that extra damage. Um, it's, the second or two it will save is definitely worth it. Uh, if you don't have a charm, you don't have to go for the quick hit on the first one. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just forget. Um, and it's, it's not extremely necessary. Um, but I always try to make an attempt to go for it. Now this one we're going to end in the middle. 
So we're just going to fly through these here rings. And then I'm going to go ahead and start shooting the inner ring. And then just get over at the last second because you're right there. <laughs> There's nothing really to worry about. And this one, getting middle is actually just like the best you can get because you can literally just sit here and just shoot. doesn't matter. And we're getting left. I mean, left, right, left, right. I honestly prefer getting in the middle for the last hit, but right works just as fine as you see there. Um, and that's how you uh, you, you kind of do that phase optimally. Um, it can be kind of tricky to get down, uh, practice it, just come to the boss fight, do the second phase, um, and then as soon as you get it, if you want to make an attempt at clockwork jump, go ahead. Um, and then just reload the game and just keep practicing it. Uh, you can lose a lot of time on this boss fight if you're not careful. Um, unlike Ruby, where Ruby, after the first phase, is kind of like an auto-scroller, or where Raleigh's an auto-scroller, um, Mugshot's kind of an auto-scroller, uh, Panda King and Clockwork, you can, you, can lose a, you can lose a lot of time if you're not paying attention. Um, just make sure you're paying attention. Now, for, uh, for the movement to where you do clockwork jump at, the most optimal way is to, to jump on this thing, walk up here, and double jump past that. And then you can just kind of single jump and walk along these. Now, right here is where you want to be at. And let's see if I can get that off screen. Yeah, whatever. Um, what you're going to be aiming for is you're going to be aiming for that pipe. Now, uh, there's many ways you can do this. Uh, I know a couple of people will turn their camera like this, and then they just hold the control stick directly forward. Um, if, if you need to do that to, to kind of help get your positioning down, you can do that. Uh, your camera will change direction a slight bit, so you're going to have to kind of adjust to that uh, during the thing, and that just comes with time learning how to adjust for that. Um, and then you also need to delay your jump. So however you have your camera positioned, I always do it naturally, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back and, and get my camera set up back to where it normally is. Um, you, uh, you want to, like I said, you want to hold your control stick to go towards that pipe, and then you want to do a jump, and then you don't need to delay your second jump too much. If you delay it too much, you're going to miss the pipe. You're not going to have enough height when you press circle um, to actually get it. And if you do your second jump too early, um, you won't have enough distance to, to even like, have the circle and input connect. So you want to delay it just a slight bit, but not too much. Um, so I'm going to go reset my camera position to where it would be at naturally. So I'm going to land like this, come up here, and I don't touch my camera at all during any of this. And then as soon as I land, I just immediately do this, and like right there I, I did my second jump a little bit too early. Uh, and I still got my circle input, but yeah. <laughs> So, if you don't have a charm and you fail that, don't load the game. If at any point you die during Clockwork's fight, you do not want to load the game. If you load the game, you will spawn the second cutscene that plays after this first phase. You will spawn it again uh, if you haven't beaten the boss fight already. So you don't want to load your game. So you want to just come in normally, and then this is what it will look like if you've already watched the cutscene. Now, chances are, if you're watching this video to, to kind of get this explanation um, on how to do clockwork jump and things like that, your runs are probably um, optimized enough to where missing that is, is just going to end your run. Uh, so, and see, like, right there, I, I just did it, it wasn't worth it, so I didn't go for it. But you see how much slower it was, and even just going for the couple of shots, the couple, like, extra shots. <coughs> But yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna come down and do it again. And you don't have to jump off instantly. Um, I jump off instantly. And I, I I forgot there. <laughs> I, I'm trying to talk and whatnot, and it's not like super important not in a run. Um, but you do need to. Uh, Kind of be careful with this. Take your time lining it up. Make sure you have like your proper control stick angle. 
Like right there was fine, but I jumped a little bit too far to the right. Um, oh shit. I was gonna do it again, but I messed up. Um, but yeah, so that's what it looks like when you do it properly. And you wanna you wanna wait until you like, hear slight latch onto before you jump off. And then when you like jump to the tail feathers, you wanna you wanna be a little careful. Um, let me see if I can't get there again. All right, <laughs> so I I think I just cut out some of that. Um, so here we are again. Like I said, if you need to take the time to kind of make sure you just lined up properly, you can do that, uh, and then you're good to go. Now you want to make sure you wait until like you you seen Sly like, do this. You don't want to jump off immediately. You want to climb up a little bit so you have enough height to make it to the feathers, and then you want to kind of jump like right here. You don't want to try to jump too far forward, like you'll slide off on one of the sides. You want to make sure you land right here and then just jump up. And like I said earlier in my in my tutorial video, when you come up here, you want to make sure you wait for a clockwork to turn his head before you start bashing it in. Because if you're not careful, he will proxy you off. Which is sad. And uh, there you go, though. So that's uh, that's that video. Some tricky maneuver, kind of explaining this this stuff. The um, last piece of the Thievius Raccoonus from Clockwork's Claw. I had taken turn this down in my end so I can actually hear myself talk. <laughs> Uh, hopefully that works out. If you have any questions, again, about uh, anything in the run or any of this stuff, uh, free to contact me or any of the other runners. Of course, there was no way I could have gotten here without the help. We're all uh, we're all nice, nice people. I want to help out and whatnot. And uh, yeah, that's I believe that's the last thing that's currently in the run that I need to go over. Um, I know he was scared. So unless anything else is found, ever known. Uh, I, I believe that'll Thank be it for all the tutorial memory. videos, uh, except Without for 100. percent But I never found my way off that roof. Don't feel comfortable Paris. going over that yet. So a guy couldn't ask for a better gang of friends. One day, one day. Uh, who but yeah. Ever anyway, the lovely um, have Looks a good like one, folks. We're not going to be friends anymore. Now the clockwork.